What's up YouTube? Welcome back. Um, if you can tell by the title of the video today, we are going to go into why the month of April is a pretty depressing month for me. So we ain't gonna do all this major intro stuff. I ain't gotta talk to y'all. Y'all know what y'all need to do, but let's get into it. So I would say the month of April became a pretty depressing month for me, 2019. Um, April 29th, 2019 to be exact. Um, that is the day that my older brother on my father's side, he got killed. Um, he got killed by his baby mother. Yes. Um, this story is truly hard to talk about because when I think about what happened to my brother and when I think about the girl, I really get into this deep depression and I get into this place of hatred and anger. Now, I'm not going to lie. It scares me and it scares people around me when I get into that mode. Um, just because it's not me to an extent. It is me, but it's not me like on a day to day. Um, so, you know, I was in the midst of getting a tattoo when I got the call from my oldest brother on my father's side. And, you know, he just was like, you know, we got killed, blah, blah, blah. And I just, I break down mid tattoo and it's just like, huh? Huh? I'm just like, what, what? There's, there, there's no way, like there's none that you're talking about my brother. So finish my tattoo, head over to my brother's mom's house. And it's just like, it's real. It is real. Um, yeah. Finding out what happened, how it happened. It, it never, it'll never sit right with me. It'll always make me like, mm, just, mm, it'll, mm, I don't know. I don't, it's just, yeah. So for the last two years, I have been battling with just a lot of anger and just hatred towards two people. The reason my brother is dead. I have just had so much like hate in my heart to where it's just like, when I see you, it is what it is. And I stand on it and I don't care. It is what it is. Like, his death really like affected me. Yeah, his death really like affected me because it's a sibling. Most people don't think about like, oh, my sibling died. A sibling is your soulmate. Whether you believe it or not, a sibling is your soulmate, your life partner. You know, it's normal for, you know, parents to die aunts, uncles, people like that. But when a sibling dies, it's different. It's way different. Ugh. So, yeah. All I can say is that, like, just mm, the last two years during April, as soon as April hits, I don't know, it's always like a shift. Like, my attitude changes. I go dark the whole month. It ain't even just like the end of the month. It's the whole month of April. I go dark, you know? This April, it was a little worse. Um, I kind of got really distant with my family and I do apologize for that, but at the same time, it's just like, 
my feelings right now. It's not good to be around anybody. I don't really want to talk about it to anybody. I've talked about my feelings to my best friend and my ex. My ex has been with me through this the last two years. So he'll always be somebody who will comfort me through this. So shout out to him. Um, and shout out to my best friend because those two, well, and my other best friend, those three people, like I've literally told them like how much it has affected me. Hmm. So, yeah. That's one. That's the first reason. I hate April. So, a year after my brother's death, I had got a dog just because it's like, you know, I'm out on my own. I want me a dog now. Keep in mind, my family, we're dog, like we're dog people. My whole life I've had dogs. Sister has dogs, you know, my other sister has dog. And it's just like, we're dog people. So it's like, I'm out on my own. I need me a dog. So I got me a dog. I got it from my coworker. She was a pit bull, a brindle, brindle pit bull? Yeah, that was her coat. It was black and brindle. And her name was Callie. She was my baby. Um, I have one earring on that is so ghetto. Excuse me. Um, <laughs> so with her, as soon as I got her, we bonded so quick, like super quick to the point it was just like within the first two weeks of getting her and working, we both created like a really bad separation anxiety from each other so 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 bad like it was to the point where it was i was leaving work early i would get off work early just to go be with my dog just because it was like i couldn't be away from her like oh i need to go home i need to check on my dog i need to go home i gotta i gotta do this so it was to the point where i didn't want her home alone so I would take her to my sister's house on my way to work every morning, every morning, because I wanted her to be with somebody because I couldn't be with her. And I knew she would, like she had separation anxiety from me and I had it from her, but hers was worse. So, you know, I had her for about a month or two. And one day, it's not even one day, like the night, she passed me and my ex like we were going to bed or whatever and she just kept barking she just kept barking and she slept in the front room there was a point in time when she slept in the room with us like we had her cage and everything but she was like starting to get better so we had her in the living room but she just kept barking kept barking kept barking and it was just like i don't know what's going on so my ex went in there you know he I guess he talked to her, he cuddled her for a minute, and then he came back. She was still whining, but eventually it stopped. Now, mind you, every night, no matter if she's sleeping or not, she would eventually wake up and whine and bark or something, and then I would get up. But this night, she didn't whine at all. She didn't bark at all. She didn't wake up at all. And through the night, like, I'm asleep but I'm not asleep. And it's just like, why isn't she barking? But it's just like, okay, well, maybe she's sleeping through the night. So I'm like, I don't get up. And I wake up like every hour, like, why isn't she barking? And I'm like, maybe she good. So I just keep going to sleep. Like I'm legit, like paranoid. But at the same time, I'm like, okay, she's getting it. I wake up, I use the bathroom. And like I'm sitting on the toilet, I'm like, she ain't even scratched her cage. I'm like, Callie, mommy's baby, I'm woke. And then like my heart sank. I'm like, something ain't right. <laughs> something is not right. So I get up, I walk to her cage. I'm like, Callie, no response. <laughs> I instantly like. break down and fall to the floor. <sighs> and 
understand my ex, he like legit. He had to be so strong for me because. Because it was just like, I don't know. I just lost it. Because I was my child. And I was my baby. And she just passed. It was just like, and I sleep, so it was peaceful, yeah, but at the same time, it's just like, ugh. And he's picking her up, he's holding her. And he's just like, can we wake up? And it's just like, she was gone. She was gone. Like seeing him hold her. It just made everything like so much worse. Cause I'm like, geez, she's really gone. Like he picked her up, she was just stiff and he was just holding her. I couldn't do nothing. But cry. He couldn't cry because I was crying. So he felt he had to be strong for me, which I appreciate more than anything because I definitely needed him to be the stronger person in that situation. So there's that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, got her cremated and everything. So <sighs> that was, I eventually went into a de depression after that. And my anxiety had got worse. Because we already had separation anxiety from each other. Then it just turned into, I don't have her at all. So I would sleep with a certain toy she had. Or I will sleep in the living room. And everything. It just was, it was horrible. So that's number two. Um, number three, this year, um, my great grandfather's passing. He actually died at the end of March, but his funeral was held in April. And it was like the last time I was gonna see him. So, you know, and I was like, my favorite human. You couldn't tell me nothing about my grandfather and you couldn't tell him nothing about me. I was his favorite. I knew that, he knew that, everybody knew that. So, yeah. Um, he has been sick. So he went to the hospital. He had, I think, COVID and pneumonia at the beginning of the year. He got out February 4th. Fourth. February 4th, he got out the hospital and he died at the end of March. End of March, legit, almost April. So it's just like, damn, every year for the last two years, it's been something in April. Every time. It's just like, ugh, I legit can't catch a break. I can't. So. That month of April as a whole, I hate it. I hate it. It literally will go from like February 29th or 28th or whatever and April 1st, I don't want to talk. I don't want to kick it. I'm not in the mood. I'm not happy. I'm sad. I'm angry. I'm confused. I'm tired. I'm so tired. Like, I don't want to do nothing but get my revenge. I've prayed about it. I prayed so hard for God to take that feeling of hatred out of my heart. <sighs> but it's still there. It is still there. So, 
so those are the three reasons why I legit hate the month of April and I don't think I'll ever get over it I don't think I will um you know but now that it's May it's legit May 3rd I'm not gonna lie I have been in a better mood still still a little funk but i've smiled more than i did in april um i've hang i'm hanging out with my friends again and i like i rarely do that but i went out with my best friend and our other oh, excuse me our other friends so it's like i'm getting back to myself it just takes getting out of the month of april to get me there like i legit hate that month but yeah, so for you guys that are watching this, pray for your strong friends. Pray for your friends that, you know, go ghost. Pray for your friends that you know have a hard time with things. Talk to your friends. But see me, I'm a person who don't necessarily like to talk about my feelings. I will tell you, I am good until I die. But at the same time, it's just, I'm not going to talk to you if you ask me what's wrong. I have to feel comfortable enough to come to you. And honestly, to my two best friends and my ex are the only person right now that I honestly feel comfortable enough talking to about my true feelings because one, they're not going to judge me. Two, we've all been through stuff together. So it's just like, you help me, I help you. That's it. Um, so, yeah, but I have to get better at expressing my feelings because I know me going ghost and not talking to my family kind of, it put a strain on things, especially me not talking to my mom and my, you know, because I talk to my mom every day, but I haven't really talked to my mom in like a good week and a half, two weeks. Just because of other things that have occurred in this, just the month of April. So, mommy, if you watch this, I love you. My sisters and my brothers, if you watch this, I love you. I apologize. Bear with me. I'm human. Um, yeah. Ooh. But, yeah. So, thanks, guys, for watching. I ain't got to tell y'all what to do because you know what to do. And I just don't feel comfortable saying do all of that. But yeah, thanks guys for watching. Look, mama so special. She don't come with all that extra. Trying to see who all I'm texting. Never question about no exes. I put on me around me like a tissue. She know I'm applying that.